Israel Adesanya slams Drikus Duplessis in TMZ Sports interview over first African champion comments. In a recent interview with TMZ Sports, Israel Adesanya strongly criticized Drikus Duplessis for his remarks about being the first African champion. Adesanya, who has experienced the hardships of leaving his homeland for better opportunities, expressed his frustration. People like Abdul Razak Al Hassan and I had to leave our own countries in search of better opportunities. Drikus's will never understand this because he lives a privileged life behind the gates of his comfortable home in South Africa. Well, I mean, did those belts ever go to Africa? As far as I know, it came to America and New Zealand. I'm going to take a belt to Africa. I'm the African fighter in the UFC. Myself and Cameron, we breathe the African air. We wake up in Africa every day. We train in Africa, we're African-born, we're African-raised. We still reside in Africa, we train out of Africa. That's an African champion and that's who I'll be. You know, Abdul Razak said it before his fight uh, about three weeks ago, saying like, you know, I respect Drikas, but he's a bitch for what he said. He's a bitch because Drikas is saying, I trained in Africa, I do this in Africa. And then people like Razak and myself who are forced to flee our own country because of, you know, a better opportunity. He, he'll never understand that because he lives behind the gates of his privileged life in South Africa and he's able to do that there. So someone like Francis who had to cross the desert to go overseas to go train. If you, if you know that's a story, you can't call him not a real African champion because he didn't train in Africa. I was like, bro, are you kidding? The guy got sent back out to the desert six, seven times to go die and he survived. Ah, like the things he said and even without without Francis being champion, without myself being champion, without Kamaru being champion, he would have never been champion. We paved the way for him and then he comes out there and tries to take it all for himself. What kind of mindset is it that you see three African champions and you're going to be the fourth one who tries to say, take it all for himself. That's a colonialist mindset and he doesn't understand the error of his ways, but I will show him the way.